Welcome guys to another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create some water condensation using Cinema 4D and Octane. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and for more tutorials, um, please subscribe. So let's get started. So to get started, we're just going to use a simple sphere there. Just put 12 segments. Make sure the type is hexahedron, like so. Let's just make that sphere editable. Let's, just, let's do that. Then duplicate to about, um, let's just put four. Three, four, like so. Then make sure you get the point selection. Then um, using my viewport selection, I'm just gonna use the single. If you're, you can either, I'm using my, my own layout. You can actually go here and just select viewport, select single. This so you can isolate each individual sphere. Like so. So anyway, let's get started. Let's select the stop part. Let's bring it up. Okay. If you're confused about this coloration of this highlight. Um, you're just going to go to your self selection option there, then have preview selected. That's when you're going to see this. So make sure it's preview stick, then your radius is 100 centimeters. So here we go. Let's just bring it up here. Like so just scale it and squash it. Just, just to just have that basic droplet. See one like so. Mm -hmm. So like so. Okay, we are done, like so, and now let's bring in our can. Alright, scale this down. Okay. So we're gonna bring in our cloner, just uh, bring it up. So just select our spheres there. Eh? Make make them a child of the cloner. Let's rename this. Let's say droplets. Arise. Right. Let's get to a can. Let's put a selection. Let's just split this. Split, split, split. Always split, always split. Okay, split. All right. Droplet surface. Like so let's go back to our more graph cloner. So under mode we put object 
then we select our droplet surface and put that in under object then up vector we put um let's just put um y plus then vertex surface like so this is just to get our our droplet uh, into the can so something's not right here let me just just this yeah it's not properly aligned transforms just put 90 okay i think it's all good let's multiply these droplets and let's go back to our clone now let's just put 800 like so okay our cloners are quite too big so let's just Let's come to demograph effectors. Let's just put a uh, random effector there, like so. Parameter. This is just the scale. The scale, uniform scale. So actually what's going to work let's just let's just adjust it just these kind of easier okay let's just scale it down should do the trick yeah like so our doubles are too close up too close not quite realistic yet so let's just let's just push apart so we come back to a more graph then um, come to a, a push of push apart uh, effector so radius just too much let's bring it down like so I think now it's better I think it's better so uh, once we do this okay once we got our setup there on the can let's just uh, put some material in okay uh, let me just enable uh, octane like so So all right, okay. Let's just open up live view. Sky, okay, next to right, like so. Let's just next to right, just put picture. I'm looking for just something that I can use for reflections. So let me just put this. material there 
which is put black like so and texture let's make it large just put uh, image texture there some roughness here okay okay that's good um okay I'm gonna put some fingerprints um, yeah like so smudge box zoom X It's looking like that. Right. Let's put that on my hand can surface. Trim can. Next slide. Specular material, let's just as water, let's just put 3 3 3 okay. Then, um, fake shadows, let's enable that. Let's just put on our water droplets, like so. is coming out quite nicely okay let me just adjust my open settings actually let's put that apart tracing something just put to linear Natural response. Let's put our gamma to 2.2. Like so. Finite. Let's just turn it off. Saturate to white. Oh, yep. Just adjust our lighting a little bit, just put some light. 
the A to just give it uh, some definition. So it's just area light. Switch it off. Excellent. As you can see, um, our basic fingerprints they they be you know, we just adjust this a little bit. Some projections, box, spec, spring, point one. Actually, one is enough. I need to say two. Yeah. One, we can add some more textures and just put a mixed material there. Duplicate this, replace our roughness map, and we just put something else there. What can we put? Let's just put this water stains like so. Then we put this material one. This is going to turn two. Like so, straight this. Right. So we've got um, my can texture up. We can uh, like just as we go. Um, let me just increase our droplets. Let's just say this 800. Let's just put 1000. See how it looks. Like so. So anyway guys, this is, um, I think this is it, this is basically how you create some water condensation on a bottle, on a can, wherever you want to put it, um, or texturing aspect of it, it's up to you, I don't want to go into detail, but this is just the basic of it. Um, you can see can okay, they uh, droplets like so so um, thank you guys if you would like please subscribe uh, thumbs up if you loved it subs if you didn't please subscribe um, thank you for watching see you on the next one yeah. cheers